Hello and Namaste. I am here Shankar Tiwari with you. Today we are launching a very special show on 7 Star 4K TV. And today we have very special and honorable guest who is the president of United and Sovereign State to the Nation Hawaii. The president of Nation Hawaii, Mr. Oho Dennis Ken Haley. Uh, welcome sir, welcome on today's show. Thank you. Namaste. How are you? I am good. Yeah. I am good. You have just visit Nepal, you know. Uh, how are you feeling on Nepal? How is your day just going on? Today is the eighth. So it's been three days since we've been here, four days. Mm -hmm. It's it's been good. Mm -hmm. It's it's been good. Different different than India. We just yeah. came back from yeah. India. You found Nepal very different than India. Very different. Yeah. More like mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very different. I think more kindness. Yeah, yeah, more kindness. More kindness, yeah. yeah. And how is uh, Nepal treating you? You have done no, you, you know, this, Nepal has been delegates also. Well, I have uh, our honorary council, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Puro, um, who's who's been, you know, he's been part of the nation for a few years mm -hmm. now, and he's been looking forward for us to come to his country. Mm -hmm. And so now he's helping the nation of Hawaii in uh, in making connections, yeah. communications. And then we also have our ambassador, uh, Mr. Wong Kok Wai, mm -hmm. uh, ambassador to Asia. And he's been instrumental in uh, uh, getting things rolling in Southeast Asia and Asia. Uh, so yeah, we, you know, it's, it's, I think no Hawaiian has come to Nepal, mm -hmm. not for this kind of, uh, uh, not in this light. You know, we, we come to open up peace and friendship relations. You have come here to establish the peace and friendship relations. Yes, yes. Yeah, nothing else. Peace and friendship allows us to get to know each other. Okay, what exactly the nation of Hawaii is? Well, nation of Hawaii is an independent country. Uh, we have been an independent country since 1993. Mm -hmm. The political view on Hawaii is most people still think that Hawaii is part of the U.S. or Hawaii is the U.S. and that's not so. In 1993, uh, America apologized for the overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom back in 1893. So it was a yeah, 1893, and in 1993, America says we're sorry for doing this to you. Now, in international law, what what that does is it it, it really put a cloud uh, on titles of land in Hawaii. It also gave the nation of Hawaii, the nation of Hawaii today, an opportunity to proclaim the restoration of our independence. So in, uh, in 1993, I was uh, appointed as a sovereignty advisory commissioner for the state of Hawaii, which is the United States. And the governor uh, called me and, and asked me to sit on a committee. And my job was to go into the international arena and find out what's best for our people. Now that Amer America has finally admitted and confessed to all atrocities and injustices against the Hawaiian people, the Hawaiian people have, have the opportunity now to proclaim the restoration of their independence. Yeah, you have got that opportunity. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we took advantage right mm -hmm. off the bat. It okay, was please let's talk and discuss about Kanaka Maoli. What? Kanaka Maoli is uh, the original people. Kanaka Hawaii Maoli is the re original people of Hawaii. Re the original people of Hawaii? Yes, Kanaka That Maoli. is called Kanaka Maoli. Kanaka Hawaii Maoli. Uh, Kanaka Hawaii Maoli. So here would okay. be Kanaka Napolese Maoli, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the original people of Nepal, right? Yeah. Yeah, same. You know. Are all the Hawaiian people, they are fighting for the independence of uh, nation of Not Hawaii? All but now it has since we've the resurgence of our language because our language was stripped away too language our culture our religion all these things were stripped away uh, and replaced by american ideals and purpose and all of that it was a colonization period but because of this 1993 law uh, in, in 1993, because the U.S. president signed the law into effect, mm -hmm. it changed the political landscape in Hawaii. It wasn't no longer on, on uh, a strong foundation, their existence. Mm -hmm. And why? Because they confessed to 
things that, you know, uh, wasn't right. And so, as a commissioner back in 1993, I had an opportunity to bring in an international lawyer to give us all this information. And, you know, again, when, when you talk about the original people, Kanaka Maoli means original people. Original people? Yes. Okay. Um, from when was Hawaii occupied by USA? From when? Yeah. Uh, actually, 1897, 1898. 1897 to 1898, it was yes. occupied by USA. By US. It was... Uh, uh, it became a U.S. territory in 1897, 1898. What was the reason behind that? Can you discuss on that way? The territory? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in 1893, well, let me go back. Mm -hmm. Prior to 1893, our country, the Hawaiian Kingdom at that time, was ruled by a monarch. Mm -hmm. um, and we opened up treaties with mostly European countries. Uh, France, Britain, Spain, Norway, Switzerland, Sweden, all these different countries we had peace and friendship treaties with, mm -hmm. trade and commerce, and all of these things. And <clears throat> so, and the first treaty was with the United States in 1826. Mm -hmm. Now, as time went along, the colonization started to really affect mm -hmm. immigrants coming in, European immigrants coming in. And what that did is change the political landscape mm -hmm. of the monarch at that time. And so it started to change uh, as time went along. And it was like an opportunity for missionary families mm -hmm. who first came to Hawaii in 1820, missionaries came. Well, their children now mm -hmm. became the bankers, they became uh, the... the uh, they became everything. They eventually took over the government in 1893. So, in 1893, when our queen got overthrown, it was January 17, 1893, uh, what she did was she turned around and abdicated the throne to the United States in fear of these uh, sugar plantation owners and bankers and all that that were trying to take over the country at that time. So, but when she did that, uh, in 1897, the overthrowers with the United States tried to make a treaty of annexation. See, if they approved the treaty of annexation in 1897, Hawaii would have been lost at that time. Okay, what's the main component of nation Hawaii? The, the population today is at 1.4 million. 1.4 million people. people. Now, out of that, there's about a quarter of a million plus of Hawaiian, mm -hmm. Hawaiian people, Kanaka Maoli. Kanaka Maoli. Yes. Uh, then the rest is made up of most immigrants. Mm -hmm. But getting back to 1897, when the territory was finally under the U.S., it was by a joint resolution. It's called the New Lands Resolution. So they didn't get the treaty of annexation. But they did get a resolution passed yeah. to take over Hawaii, right? And that was in 1900, uh, the United States created the Organic Act mm -hmm. so that they could place laws mm -hmm. on the country. They had no laws. They wiped out a country, right? The government, the kingdom. And, and now uh, the U.S. put their laws on the territory of Hawaii. Now, at that time, what to do with the people now, mm -hmm. right? You had all these Hawaiian nationals under the Hawaiian kingdom. What were they going to do to these people? That's us, our ancestors, right? Well, so, so what happened first in 1920, they created what is called the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act. Mm -hmm. And the Commission Act was like a human farming project. Four corners, right, of this table. It's like a farm. Yeah, yeah. 200,000 acres. Mm -hmm. And you throw all Hawaiian nationals in there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay? Because we told, took the country, yeah. now we're going to throw all these Hawaiians in this farming project. Mm -hmm. And we're going to place a 50% blood quantum Ooh. on these people. Mm -hmm. So if you're 50% or more Hawaiian, you're allowed to stay on a farm. Mm -hmm. If you're not, yeah. then you go in general population with the rest of the people. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to us in 1920. 1920? Yes. Okay. So the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act, they still didn't do it right because they overthrew our country. They're trying to go through these processes 
the US I'm talking about. Okay, then what's the uh, Ohona Council? Kupuna Council, it's coming, it's yeah. coming, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Let me finish this, okay? okay? So 1921, this happens. 20, 20 years later, war breaks out. World War II, mm -hmm. 1941. By then, immigration has hit Hawaii, Japanese immigration, Chinese, Filipinos, all Koreans, all came to Hawaii. And immigration started to make the population more immigrant than native, mm -hmm. right? So, 1941, the war breaks out. 1945, it ends. Mm -hmm. The war ended. Uh -huh. right? On 1945, the war ends? Yes. 41 yeah. start, 45 ended. Mm -hmm. Japanese surrender mm -hmm. to America because they bombed Pearl Harbor. Yeah. So America bombed them, mm -hmm. nuclear bomb, right? Wipe out hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Japanese citizens. Mm -hmm. So, 1945 also, the United Nations is created, mm -hmm. right? United Nations? Yeah. Okay. So, under Article 73, it's, it's Article 73 of the UN Charter, it's a decolonization process. It's mm -hmm. called decolonization. Decolonization. Right. Yeah. process starts off with this, Article 73A, mm -hmm. to ensure with due respect to the culture of the people's concern, mm -hmm. their political, economic, yeah. social, educational advancement, mm -hmm. just treatment and protection against abuse. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to be protected by a decolonization process, yeah. we were never. Mm -hmm. They allowed immigrants to vote on statehood and that's how the state of Hawaii came about. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, then. I have asked you on this way, the, what's the major relationship, you know, the major relationship between or connection between Ohona Council and Eluna first? Okay. A kupuna is considered in the nation of Hawaii uh, mm -hmm. over 45 years of age. Mm -hmm. The older you are, the more of an elder you are, kupuna. Mm -hmm. Kupuna is elder in Hawaiian. What is elder in uh, Naples? Mm -hmm. what, what is the name for elder? In your language? Yeah, the common that's called Nepali people, the Newari people are called the indigenous people around the Kathmandu Valley. Like, but who do you, what do you call the elder in your country? Um, we called it a senior, like... Senior? Yeah, senior, our respected... Have, uh, Nepa you know, Nepali word? Uh, yeah. Uh, ba Ama. Ba Ama. Yeah. That's Kupuna for us. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now you get Yeah, I get it. Okay, get. okay, okay. Mm. So... <clears throat> In, in the constitution, when we restored, we had to create a constitutional convention. Mm -hmm. We created a kupuna council. Mm -hmm. It was much better than leaders mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because all our parents, grandparents, great grandparents gather mm -hmm. in council mm -hmm. to develop a constitution like a family. Oh, to develop a constitution? Yes. Uh, if so, you have a separate const uh, Hawaiian yeah. constitution? Yes, yes. It's, uh, oh, when was the Hawaiian constitution started or promulgated? Uh, after the law passed 93, mm -hmm. in 1994, we proclaimed the restoration of our independence, right? Because mm -hmm. the law said, we're sorry for doing this. Mm -hmm. Now, they're not going to give us Hawaii back. Mm -hmm. We have to, by ourselves, determine, ah, oh, this is ours now. Mm -hmm. Now what we do, right? Mm -hmm. And so, in 1994, we proclaimed the restoration and we went right into convention with the elders of all islands. Oh, from 1994? From 1994. Mm -hmm. So we proclaimed in 1994. They appointed me in September of 1994. Yeah. And um, we promulgated the constitution in 1995. Yeah, on 1995? Five, yeah. Okay, if so, uh, I asked you, what's the political scenario of your nation? Peace and friendship. Peace and friendship. This is the way we got to move. Mm -hmm. Because if we talk about politics, I might scare off political, well, political people from other countries. Yeah. I don't want to do that mm -hmm. because our story is real. Mm -hmm. America don't belong there. Yeah. The state of Hawaii has taken our place. Mm -hmm. They don't belong there. Mm -hmm. This is ours. Yeah. So we have to look at it that way and find do you have law, do you have a wine parliament? In every way that we go, we use this mm -hmm. as a template to interact with people. Yeah, you know, and and so 
our our goal was to restore our country, mm -hmm. to look at every avenue, every political avenue, every economic avenue, every social avenue, every culture avenue we could to rebuild our country. Mm -hmm. This is why you hear Kupuna Council. Yeah. They were the eldest in our society. Mm -hmm. Who know better leaders to listen to than the elders? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You listen to your yeah, parents. Sure. Right? Yeah. If they want something, you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. I asked you on this way. Do you have your own parliament no. for the uh, promulgation and formation of law, constitution? Do you have your own parliament on nation Hawaii? Parliament? Yeah, parliament. No, no, not yet. Because we have to go to elections. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, I was giving full authority mm -hmm. um, to get our country back. Just started. Yeah. Now, when you have no money, you have no resources, you start from scratch, only on the idea and this dream, mm -hmm. and now with this law, it takes a long time, yeah. you know, sure. to develop minds, to, to educate people like how we're sharing this with you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I've done that for 40 years, you know. I'm going to be 69 mm -hmm. come July. And so I'm an elder, yeah. as well as the head of state okay. and a president. So I play a big part in both political, mm -hmm. right, and as an elder. Now, one thing about the Hawaii Constitution, our Constitution in 1995, is how we set up the branches of government. Mm -hmm. So you got your legislative branch, right, mm -hmm. lawmakers. Now, usually it's the crooks, right, lawmakers. Then you got your executive branch. Right, this is where I come in and our appointees. Mm -hmm. And then we have a judiciary, we call a tribunal. Mm -hmm. the, the law enforcement branch. Yeah. The law enforcement branch is made up of Kupuna Council. Kupuna Council? Yes. Oh. Every, every branch, mm -hmm. from spring to district. Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, now, on these days, what's the economic scenario, economic condition of the nation, Hawaii? Well, you know, we're developing relations and resources through this peace and friendship tour. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the main thing is for peace and friendship to be our base as we move along with Aloha. Mm -hmm. uh, that opens the doors easier than if I talk to you about politics or money and all yeah. that. And if I cannot have a simple friendship with you, mm -hmm. why are we going to do business? Yeah, sure. Right? And so with us, it's, it's transparent. You know, you're going to see us for who we are. Mm -hmm. We're not going to hide anything from anybody yeah. because that's, that's also our, uh, our army, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Transparency will be the one to protect us in the world. We travel all over the world, you know? Many people don't like what we're doing, mm -hmm. especially in America, yeah. right? But it's not, it's not a concern because we move in aloha mm -hmm. we are a humanitarian country mm -hmm. that's who we are yeah. up to now how many countries have you visited till eight uh, oh shit. in the last 40 years yeah maybe about 20 20 countries 20 countries you have visited have visited you started the peace and friendship moment just recently, that was about a year ago in Malaysia, mm -hmm. and uh, my uh, our ambassador to Asia, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Wong, he was uh, instrumental in pulling that together, and that started the relations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he had set up. He believes in the law. He believes Hawaii uh, was was wrong, wrongfully taken, mm -hmm. and so it's that peace and friendship tour develops this oh. right mm -hmm. yesterday we met we met with the political advisor to the president of Nepal political advisor yes political mm -hmm. advisor and and that was something right he understood I had to explain how was your conversation with them fruitful mm -hmm. fruitful a lot of possibilities a lot of different ways um, that we can communicate with mm -hmm. uh, Nepal you know, the Nepal officials, uh, we met with um, uh, the tourism officials. Okay, then what are the major things that the nation of Hawaii and Nepal, they can collaborate with each other? Yeah, because I, I think, see, the nation don't only bring history with them. Mm -hmm. we, bring, we bring partnerships and resources with yeah, us, yeah, sure. right? So, so, you know, we, we discussed a little about Transit X mm -hmm. and what if we had pathways going in in Nepal, 
mm -hmm. you would eliminate a lot of traffic. People would be on these podways, and uh, see these podways is this is a rail and this is a pod, mm -hmm. right? So these pods can go all over Nepal, right? Four passenger pods, small, not not huge. Yeah. And it's powered by this is the solar mm -hmm. that energizes these podways to go all over the you know the country. Mm -hmm. And um, they also would provide fiber optic communications, right? Mm -hmm. And transportation. Yeah. And then you got your energy, mm -hmm. right? So these are innovative things. Is tourism a major part for the long term collaboration with Nepal? Well, we're working on it. We just mm -hmm. came, you know, we just met. And that's what we want. We want a long term relation. Mm -hmm. We want to open. You want a long term relation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we're not only looking at. Okay, this. then what's the tourism status of uh, Nisana Y till now? Well, we're, we're actually the people that people come to see when they come to Hawaii. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's not being fairly put out. You know, the wrong story is being put out mm -hmm. by the tourism authority in Hawaii. But they continue to make it easier for countries like Japan, South Korea, these countries to enter into uh, Hawaii, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk to people that we've been to like in, in Nepal, in India, Malaysia, mm -hmm. they get a hard time coming to Hawaii, mm -hmm. visa, mm -hmm. right? So they say, why well, the nation can I develop a uh, mm -hmm. visa? Oh, we can, but not right now. This is why we don't focus. Do the nation of Hawaii have their own security force? Uh, own not not military a military force, force mm -hmm. but we have security. Oh. You don't have own military force? No, if we did, we'd be independent, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Yeah, every country that is independent has a military force. Yeah. Yes. We're going to get one soon. We're working on our, one of our plans include paramilitary, paramilitary uh, service, mm -hmm. uh, which would be when we transition with the military, U.S. military government, mm -hmm. who's occupying the bases in Hawaii. Okay, what steps are you launching or you have launched before this for the independent of uh, nation Hawaii? I think the most important answer would be economic development. Mm -hmm. Economic development, you have started from that. Oh yeah, we have, to, we have to look into that area because it's all about money, mm -hmm. right? The, 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 the people that control the money are usually going to control the social conditions of the regions, of their cities, of their towns, their villages, whatever. So. Economic development we doing is a necessary uh, is necessary for infrastructure for everybody. Mm -hmm. If India don't, I mean, if Nepal don't have energy, what happened? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Sustainable. If you keep using gas, you're going you're going to poison the air more mm -hmm. and doing all this stuff, right? So we focus on energy communications, transportation, yeah. of course, agriculture because of the food. You got to feed the people. Yeah. Hawaii imports over ninety percent of its food. Ninety percent. Ninety percent, and we got big land. Mm -hmm. And even are you exporting that to neighboring countries, neighboring nations? No, not neighboring nations. Only America, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. You are only exporting that on America. Well, I'd like to export stuff from Southeast Asia and Asia mm -hmm. to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Want to make those things happen? This yeah. is the things that we can talk about, mm -hmm. right? If if Nepal has a certain product that they sell uh, as a country, then we'd like to know what that is. Mm -hmm. We might be able to fit it into because we have our people in in Hawaii too, you know. I, I work with ex-governors, ex-mayors, ex-senators, all the time. Yeah. I asked you again, what's the main economic source of the Hawaiian people? The Hawaiian people's economic resource is America. Mm -hmm. The bait, mm -hmm. grants and entitlements. Mm -hmm. That is the, the economic resource. Mm -hmm. The Hawaiian people that are tend to be more American, they need these grants and entitlements. They've been getting this type of funding for over 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. So they've become addicted to American money. Mm -hmm. When you talk about the nation, not the state, mm -hmm. the things we're doing is creating economic development projects that I know will help Hawaii. Mm -hmm. State depends on tourism and defense. 
tourism and defense mm -hmm. they they go hand in hand mm -hmm. so the addiction of defense money military money used to go for SBA jobs small business administration jobs um, EB5 programs mm -hmm. this is how they work out things yeah right okay. let's um move on past what was your struggling period when you were fighting for the independence sovereignty can you discuss about that oh the struggling see after the law passed mm -hmm. everybody thought we were going to be independent that year mm -hmm. because they admitted to the crime right mm -hmm. they admitted to the overthrow and um, so there was a lot of um, mm -hmm. excitement around that time but once the government started to realize what happened, they started to throw more money at the Hawaiian population. Mm -hmm. It divided us, oh. right? Mm -hmm. So the nation took, totally took off on the independent side saying, wow, no, this is, cannot be because now you stuck on getting their money. You got a, a hundred workers now. They're going to get laid off if you don't sign this grant or entitlement with the U.S. Even you were made imprisonment while you were struggling for the independence. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were fighting for the independence. I, yeah, I had attorneys coming into prison visit me. And then in prison, I had family there, so I was taken care of. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you, let's move on past you were that time you were struggling for the independence you were struggling for the uh, sovereignty you were fighting for that you know even they made you on imprisonment okay i asked you is that uh, how would we remind those days now you know i was mad when i was prison mm -hmm. but then when i was there i realized i was amongst Hawaiians mm -hmm. in prison. Mm -hmm. So I started to educate them and they had good things in there to do. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want me to leave prison. Mm -hmm. But four months later I left. But I think it's more of a, it, it made me a better person, a better leader. Mm -hmm. uh, because then I realized generations of politics, generations of politicians has changed over the years. Mm -hmm. So what I, what I see today is how, when we talk about political, economic, social culture, mm -hmm. the generations of leaders in government side change too, mm -hmm. right? The leaders in Nepal better than 10 years ago? Yeah. Change, mm -hmm. right? So it can change. So the nation of Hawaii is going with its economic development, collaboration and resources going behind and, and helping our Hawaii mm -hmm. with new types of industries, right? You were launching new types of industries. Yes. Like I was saying, energy communication, mm -hmm. transportation, agriculture, housing. And do you have your own central bank on Nation Hawaii? We, I created a, an executive order to start the central bank. I didn't go any further than uh, I have laws in place, codes, and and you know and act about 2000 pages 2000 yeah mm -hmm. well bank mm -hmm. and a central bank i think is a lot of that is going to change now because digital currency has kind of like taken over already and the economic status of hawaiian people on these days is bad it's not good mm -hmm. even if they get money from the federal government it's still bad mm -hmm. you know it's not the same so we want to take care of everybody in Hawaii. Not everybody is guilty of what happened, right? Do you have your own syllabus, own curriculum? Yeah. We have our own packet. If you go on to nationofhawaii.org, mm -hmm. you can find all the information. Is your curriculum, your syllabus, more or less different than American curriculum, American syllabus? Yeah, it's way different because America is not telling the whole story. Mm -hmm. We use fact and finding by Congress, by U.S. government, by their laws, by international law to make our case. That's what we use. It's not frivolous. <laughs> not progressing till now. Oh, it's progressing. We're here talking to you. Mm -hmm. Now, if so, it's uh, highly progressing. We can take that on this way. It's highly progressing these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Big time progress. Mm -hmm. Nobody's done this. Nobody has gone out that far to actually uh, get to where we are now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this time, the economic crisis is being a burning problem on the whole world. Yeah. 
yes. you know even the nation who i uh, you are still struggling for the independence still struggling for the sovereignty then uh, regarding the economic crisis the burning problem of the whole world how is the present economic scenario of the nation who i i think we're in better shape than most countries we have no debt mm -hmm. we have no debt nation has no debt mm -hmm. That's the first yeah. part of a crisis. Mm -hmm. Second part is we get to build a central bank, our own central bank. Mm -hmm. the, the difference is going to be that the shareholders will be our citizens. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, no. If so, the economic crisis is not being a major problem on why? It's only uh, independence. Mm -hmm. You know, we've come from a dependent uh, peoples mm -hmm. of economic development. When they overthrew the country, the dependent, the dependencies was on American funding, mm -hmm. not the funds that we have. The Hawaiian people are very rich. We have trusts mm -hmm. for health, housing, education, employment, elderly, mm -hmm. um, maternity, housing. Um, so all these trusts, if you can imagine, is all or was all part of... Okay, then regarding our wine people, what is patriotism? The love to our nation, what's the love to our nation is on your words? Love of nation is, love of country we call it, mm -hmm. is deep. Our queen said love of country is deep-seated in every Hawaiian, mm -hmm. no matter his station. And so we've taken that deep inside mm -hmm. and, and and we do the things we do based on that we are around the end of the today's show you know what message you want to deliver through this show i think I, i'm gonna read anti pilahis mm -hmm. uh, let me read this okay, okay. sure aloha spirit are the character traits of native hawaiian they express charm warmth and sincerity Aloha is from the heart. It is more than a word of greeting or farewell or salutation. Aloha means mutual regard mm -hmm. and affection. Aloha extends warmth and caring with no obligation in return. Mm -hmm. Aloha is the essence of relationship in which each person is important to every other person mm -hmm. for collective existence. Yeah. Right? And Aloha means to hear what is not said, to see what cannot be seen, and to know the unknowing. Mm -hmm. And Tipilai told me that people gonna come to Hawaii to look for world peace mm -hmm. because Hawaii has the key. And she told me this 40 years ago, 50 years ago. 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that key in Hawaii that they will find is Aloha. Mm -hmm. And this is the message. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir, thank you for the valuable time you have provided with us. I hope this helped. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right.